guys! Welcome back to CJ's Keto Kitchen. Tonight we are going to be making a very delicious dessert utilizing one of my very favorite foods of life, and that is pecans. These are going to be Keto Maple Pecan Bars. So come along with me and let's get started. So these are a fairly simple bar. They have a base shortbread crust, and then we prepare a caramel sauce that goes with our pecans, and then they are baked. So it just takes a little bit of time and patience, but it's going to provide a very delicious dish that people will be very surprised is not actual full carb pecan pie. So come along with me, and let's dive into the recipe. So to begin our maple pecan bars, we need to preheat our oven to 350 degrees. Also need to prepare an eight by eight or a nine by nine baking dish. And you need to have it parchment papered. I've got mine clipped down just to make it easier for removal. I really find that it's best if you do have some parchment paper if you don't have parchment paper, you can spray it, but it will be more difficult to get it out of the pan. I find that with parchment paper, when it's cooled, you can then just remove the parchment paper and it makes cutting things into bars a lot more simple. So we need to have that set aside. So our first step is making our shortbread crust layer for our bars. So you need a small bowl and you're going to need one cup of almond flour and I'm going to add two tablespoons of natural sweetener. And I'm just gonna stir that a little bit and get our flour and sweetener incorporated. And to this, I'm going to add one third of a cup, which is six tablespoons of melted butter. We are going to be using our other two tablespoons later on in the recipe. So you're going to need one stick of butter divided for this recipe. So this is six tablespoons or a third of a cup. And I'm just going to stir that together to form our shortbread crust. We are going to press this in the bottom of our baking dish. And you can see that it came together to form a dough, which is what we are looking for. I'm going to put this in the bottom of my baking dish, and then I'm going to press it down to form our crust. Just use your hands to do this, spreading it around evenly. Red on a sunny day in late July and everything turned upside down. I almost lost track of time as weeks went by. I couldn't get him off my mind. I told him I want that great love like standing in the middle. And this will take a few minutes. Just be patient with the dough. So we are going to pre-bake this just to set it a little bit before we put our pecan caramel layer in there. We will be baking that again for a few more minutes afterwards. So this is just going to be a pre-bake and we are putting this into our 350 degree oven for about 10 to 12 minutes until it's just lightly brown and a little set. So you're going to need a medium size saucepan. And to our saucepan, we are going to add our liquids. So we need a half a cup of heavy cream. Mm -hmm. 
And we also need a half a cup of unsweetened almond milk. This is vanilla flavored, but it is unsweetened. You definitely want to make sure you're getting an unsweetened product. That will greatly affect the carb count. We're going to bring this to a medium simmer. At this point, we also want to add our remaining butter into this and that is two tablespoons. And we're just going to warm everything together. And this is going to take some time, so just be patient. You want to be patient with caramel. So the next thing I want to add is sucrine gold, and we need a half a cup, and this is just a brown sugar alternative. And this is help, going to help us with our caramel flavor. So I have a quarter cup and a quarter cup. And I'm just going to whisk that in. And we're letting all of these ingredients come to a gentle simmer. I'm also going to be adding a natural thickener. This is arrowroot powder. Arrowroot powder is from the root of the arrowroot plant and it's a relatively flavorless starch, and it's easily digestible for people with dietary restrictions, including low carb. If you can't find arrowroot powder, you can use xanthan gum in the same amount, but I like this product, and it will be linked in our description box. And we want one teaspoon. And this is going to act as our binder. Whisk that in evenly and it's going to help thicken our caramel. We are also going to add our extracts. I want a teaspoon of vanilla. I also want a teaspoon of maple extract because these are maple pecan bars and we want a lot of maple flavoring. It's also going to assist in giving us that nice beautiful caramel color for our pecan bars. And we're just going to let this continue to simmer away for about three to five minutes waiting for our caramel to get a bit of thickness to it. So I had mine in for 11 minutes. I'm going to go an additional minute just to try and get a bit more brownness on my crust. So you just want to continue to keep an eye on your caramel. With caramel you have to be patient because you don't want to increase the temperature so much that the bottom scorches because we do have cream in here but you can see that it's starting to thicken up and it's a nice, beautiful, golden caramel color. It's almost ready. So I am going to remove my crust. It has set on the bottom and it is starting to get brown around the edges. I am ready to remove my caramel sauce. It's a nice, beautiful brown color and I'm just going to move that off the heat. So the star of our show are the pecans, of course, because these are maple pecan bars. So this is a cup of pecans and I have chopped them. These are our butter roasted pecans. We have the recipe on our blog for those and I just find that roasting pecans gives them such a wonderful depth of flavor that you can't generally get from just a raw pecan. So I'm going to take half of these pecans that I have chopped and I'm going to put them into our caramel sauce. So I've put half of them into our caramel sauce and it is thickening as it sits. Now I'm going to pour our caramel pecan sauce onto the shortbread. I'm going to take our remaining pecans and put them on top.
Now this is going to go back into the oven for starting at 15 minutes. So once again, our oven is still at 350, which is what we cooked our crust at. So we are putting this in the oven for starting at 15 minutes, and then we're going to check on it. We are removing from the oven. It will be bubbly. That's what you're looking for. I'm going to put it up on the counter. Now this needs to thoroughly cool before we cut it into bars, which could take up to an hour, perhaps longer. So this has to come to room temperature and really set before we are able to cut it into bars. So definitely leave it to sit as long as you can. You could also refrigerate this if necessary to make sure that it is thick as you need it to be. Our bars have been cooling for several hours. I did put mine in the refrigerator for about a half hour just to hasten the process so that we can have a taste test. But you wouldn't need to do that. You can just let them cool on the countertop. But if you did want to put them in the refrigerator, you could. So we're just going to gently unmold these and that's why we use parchment paper is to facilitate this so now I'm just going to take my cleaver you could use a serrated knife if you wanted but I'm going to use my cleaver and I'm going to try and cut as evenly as I can through the bars you're not going to need a very large bar of this because they are very rich, just like pecan pie. So you can see that it has made a delicious pecan pie bar. Time for another delicious dessert, and this one is pecans. <laughs> Yummy. Okay. So we have keto maple pecan bars. All right. They're good. Tastes like little pecan pies. I do think they're better when they're a little bit warm. So that might be a tip for people. Mm -hmm. This one I could set overnight. Still good. But I think if you were to nuke it a little bit. That's what you would suggest? I don't know. Five seconds? Ten okay. seconds? Good tip. But it's good. It does take like a... It does taste like a pecan pie. So, good job. I think people will like it. Good. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Thanks for joining us, you guys. We hope that you enjoy the pecan bars. I know that we are definitely going to. Please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so that you know when we upload new content. We release new recipes every Sunday, and on Wednesdays we have keto conversations. Sometimes that's ketogenic food unboxings, sometimes it's what we're eating, and then other times it's just general lifestyle topics where we get together and support each other in the ketogenic community. So definitely join us there as well. We are on social media. We are on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest. And we release teaser photos. Other people put our recipes on there that they have made and share with the community. So definitely consider joining us there. That is CJ's Keto Kitchen. If you need any information for this recipe, macros, ingredients, also tips and tricks that both myself and CJ have learned while preparing and eating this recipe, all of that is located on our blog. And that is CJ's Keto Kitchen. Dot com. So definitely go there for any information that you might need for this recipe and any of the other recipes that, that we have already made. We hope that you will come back again and see us next time. And until that time, be well. Bye-bye.
was out of use Now I am